So today I was in my vehicle running a work-related errand and I came back and uh, across coming at me I saw my boss and he did this which is the international signal for stopping so I stopped and he backed up and he had me roll down my window of course and he told me first he went through all that he always goes through the pleasantries how are you doing how do you feel blah 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 he always says that when he really wants something. There's something behind it. If he doesn't want anything, he will never ask that. So, you know what's coming. So, I'm waiting for him to ask me. He asked me to do something that is not part of my job. Never was, never will be. And I said, hey, that's not my jurisdiction. Uh, here, are the guy, here, <clears throat> here are the guys you want. You know, gave names. And I guess in his world, if you could plead a sentence to somebody they have to do whatever you complete the sentence of saying because he just repeated it over again and at this point I I chose to start rolling up my window and I said to him one last time I said uh, that's not happening I like that that's gonna be a new catchphrase I like that that's not happening and he uh, he looked pretty pissed because he kinda zipped out of the drive and I went ahead and parked and then, a little bit later, I watched uh, another person who's in charge of me. Uh, you know, actually, you know, I direct this all at one boss, but I have many bosses. It's like it's like a totem pole, right? And I'm at the very bottom of the totem pole, but the totem pole goes up and up and up, and it also branches out. So you just have like this giant tree, and there I am, uh, you know, a root. And uh, anyway, he was talking to this other guy who's a real nice guy. And he tells me, he's just relaying the conversation to me, which is hilarious. I find it hilarious. You know, it's like, did you know what he did to me? Blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'm sad. That's my boss. And that was the end of it. That's the last I heard of it. Uh, douchebag boss went to his meetings and whatever for the day. And actually, they got who was supposed to do their job to do their job instead of you know trying to get me to do their job so I'm happy uh, but of course you know it doesn't end there and I knew it in my mind I knew there's gonna be another confrontation with this juice bag before the end of the day and you know I you know kind of the uncertain is very scary sometimes because you don't know what's gonna be I mean hell he could have fired me who knows he's crazy he's a douchebag but I don't know. He doesn't have the balls to fire me. He could try to grill me. He could tell me I have to do, you know, have a long meeting with him, which I will never do. Or he could even start arguing at me. Who knows what he wants to do? But he finds me, and he first, you know, he seems all uh, nice and stuff. And it's almost like in any other argument we have, he always goes into this. Uh, let's forgive and forget mode where he tries to you know bury it well not even bury the hatch he tries to buy me off you know I've, I've mentioned bread uh, TVs what whatever I mean just stuff he likes to throw stuff at people so he said you know Cody we have a bunch of uh, computer screens that I know you and your brother are into computers and computing and whatever uh, we'll let you have and I said, I, I love this because I'm in the position where I don't, I don't need no damn computer screens. We have plenty of computer screens. So I, I, I ask him this, I say, are they flat screens or are they CRTs? And he goes, I believe they are CRTs. <laughs> I said, I don't want them. And so then he's thinking, ooh, you got you to gotta help me figure out a way to get rid of these. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I, I don't want to hear it. Then, uh... I got a load of firewood at lunch to take home. I've been, we cut up about three freaking cords, but we got to get it all back home. We've only gotten, we finally got it all, but it was taking different days going and getting it, hauling it home, whatever. So he saw a load and he said, you got to come by my house and sell me some firewood, Cody. I'm like, slow your roll there, buddy. I don't sell the stuff, I use it. I use it. I'm freaking in the trenches. No thank you. And 
he wants to keep on talking, I know, but I just walk away. You know, I walk away. And he just kind of looks forward at the wall for a while. I kind of feel a little bad, but then I remember... I remember all these videos and all these things he's done to me in the past. They just come flooding back, and I, I feel good. It's the right move. Because my boss is a douchebag.